Good morning, Lord. Although there's nothing good about it, you must be hanging your head in shame for what these low lives you've created are up to now. Hallelujah. Sex, sugar, and guns, that's all I see. Amen. Amen. Semi-automatic teenagers on drugs. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, liquored up in cornfields, tipping cows like I did in my youth. And speaking of kids, that's all I see these days of kids walking around with big hunts of candy drooling from their yaps, singing TV commercials instead of memorizing state capitals like Phoenix, Florida. <laughs> Even our former president, Lord, playing hide and seek with big lipid women. The world's morals have fallen down the toilet. Have you been drinking again? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Even this insane asylum I live in is just as guilty. Well, Ruthie, take Ruthie for instance, preaching this liberal distortion because she reads. <laughs> and Mrs. Jenkins, Mrs. Jenkins, the Lord sees you when you're feeding them children of yours that expired milk because it's cheaper down at the Wind Dixie. And our own mayor, a very own mayor, guilty of sleazy mail order catalogs. See it roll my ass. I see what you're kicking there. <laughs> the Lord can see deep within your tiny tin boxes, people. He knows when you've been sleeping. And he knows when you've been awake. That's right, Lord. I know you're listening to me. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> now listen. Listen. I just need one mayor. That's all I'm asking you, just one little miracle. You've been doing it your whole career. Now just give it to the rev once, okay? That's all I'm asking. Come on, just one miracle, and then these people will take me seriously. All right? Oh, okay. Amen. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right, well, let's do it. Uh, yeah, now's the time. All right, okay. Hit me! I can understand you're a busy guy. Probably busy with places like Afghanistan and Iraq and Indiana, places that need your help more than we do here in Trailer Town. Well, I can understand. Hallelujah. But listen, this is from the Rev to you. All I need is one miracle. One miracle, Lord. And then these people, these people, will finally take me seriously. Amen. Uh, good morning to you, too. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Father Abraham, man, son. Oh, damn plastic menagerie I live with. Daddy! Daddy, is that you? Yeah. Take Pokey out of the table. Well, come on, you damn rat, before I make a pair of slippers out of you. Eddie, I've heard that. <laughs> that little damn thing is just staring at me. Well, talk to her. She needs encouragement. <laughs> Listen, you little rat. Uh, you drop your load before the fish stop biting, okay? You think you think Beverly comes in and holds my hand when I take a piss? I don't think so, Missy. All right, look here, sometimes the sports section is just the ticket. There you go. Oh, oh boy, no. Just looking at this will turn me on like a faucet. Daddy, did Pucky. Do you need my help? Beverly, I was a farmer for 37 years. I think I know about animals. Well, she won't tinkle if you yell at her. Well, I'm not yelling. Yes, you are. Ruthie, mind your own business. I that was yelling too <laughs> See that ray of light over there? That's like a beacon to a hungry bass just waiting for my bait. So come, just please come. Oh, damn. Now I got to piss like a big dog. Oh. <laughs> Great. 
George Bush wants to put a base on the moon for travel to Mars. Are there jobs there? <laughs> I think we should send W to the moon. Make him president of Mars. <laughs> Probably a lot like Texas.